stand for the principle that ordinary people don't believe that they're here to use up the earth and have the bank account exhausted when they die. That most people really see the planet as an ongoing enterprise. They're inspired by nature. They want to leave it behind and they feel responsible for it. And the third quality that we know brings people to the Sierra Club is a sense that individuals can make a difference. We've done some research and it turned out there were an awful lot of people who love nature as much as we do. And there were an awful lot of people who felt responsible for it. But the thing that actually was the biggest predictor of whether somebody became one of the 750,000 people I work for was whether or not they thought they could make a difference. And we'd like to have a lot more people who think they can make a difference. We have a broad definition of where we're trying to go. And our local entities uh, need to stick with that. If there's only one Sierra Club, and if you ask a Sierra Club entity in Kansas and a Sierra Club chapter in Florida what they think about global warming, what they think about nuclear power, what they think about uh, water pollution, you ought to get the same answer. But what they're doing about it is going to be very different because both the actual circumstances of Florida and what works culturally in Kansas is very different. So the way we do our work varies tremendously. We give our local chapters tremendous freedom to figure out what's going to work in, here in Idaho. Uh, who are the people we need to partner with? If you're in Ohio, it can be tremendously important to partner with the steel workers. There are very few steel workers in Florida. You're not going to partner with the steel workers in Florida. On the other hand, there are retired Coast Guard officers. And they be, may be important as they were in St. Petersburg when we were trying to save a very important bayou called Clam Bayou, and there were a bunch of retired Coast Guard officers who used this wild place right in the heart of the city of St. Petersburg. They were a very important part of our campaign to save that place. I'm not fond of the word coalitions, because that kind of implies a bunch of people who have looked around and tried to find something they could agree about. What I like to do is to find people who really have something important in common with me and then help them. So we prefer the term partnerships. Partnerships can be difficult. We've never had one that we regretted having tried. We've had some that didn't work. Sometimes there isn't as much commonality as you think. And sometimes when that happens, you end up saying at the end of four or six months, you know something, we actually don't, we thought we had a common vision. We thought we could help you, but actually we don't think we can be useful to you here. But our vision of this is about providing services to other people and having them, in turn, provide services and helping us. Uh, and I don't, think, I don't think it can be counterproductive to try to help somebody do something you think is good.